Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel, OP Society. Today guys, we are going to be exploring the last two Bounty Fest units released by Bandai, Rayleigh and Sengoku. We're gonna take a look into their strengths and weaknesses. Let's begin with Ray. Ray's stats pack a lot of attack and low defense. Ray is a bit of a glass cannon. He has decent normal attack and his sword has decent range. His last hit on the normals have a little bit of a knockback effect. When it comes to skills, skill 2 has decent activation time but it lacks power and is too linear in range, meaning it doesn't cover a wide area. Skill 1 is probably the fastest skill in the whole game. Skill 1 is a very simple slash forward, extremely hard to predict and it's hard to perfect dodge. All of this is great about Ray. But where he really shines is with his character traits. When performing a perfect dodge, you become a god for 3 seconds. Performing a perfect dodge teleports you towards the enemy, increases your attack by 70%, and creates an aura of king's haki that stuns your enemy. When you KO an enemy, you recover 15% HP and reduce the cooldown time on skill 1 by 30%. Dope character, right? Well. He's pretty good if you are good at perfect dodging. If you fail the perfect dodge, you run the risk of getting KO'd quite easily. This character has a hard time tanking through the current meta. This character is great in chaotic settings. Everyone is attacking at the same time, so it's quite easy for you to perfect dodge. I don't know about you guys, but I suffer from lag, quite a lot actually. It is pretty difficult for me to perfect dodge, so this unit is a no-go for me. But that doesn't take anything away from this unit. Rayleigh is great. One of the best units we've had in a while. I will score this character at 9.3 out of 10. I would recommend anyone to scout for this banner, especially if your green support is high and if you have a good attack and defense metal set. The next unit is Sengoku. Sengoku is amazing and probably my favorite out of the two. Sengoku is the opposite of Rayleigh, in the sense that he can tank almost any attack. His stats pack really high defense and decent attack. His normal string is a little bit on the slow side and he resembles Garb's normals quite a bit. Skill 1 is a bubble shockwave with a recharge mechanic. The range on it is pretty good, although it does not hit so hard, but it does have a knockback effect on the last hit. A skill 2 is very similar to Big Mon's Prometheus skill, where the attack follows you and it has a specific pattern. The attack has a long activation time and a long duration as well. The problem with his skills is that they are easy to dodge. It requires you to successfully master the skills. When it comes to traits, his traits are pretty good. He gets a speed boost, a defense boost, and HP recovery to him and Ala. I would rate this unit an overall 9.4 out of 10. Overall, this unit is very solid. He is great support for the team and a great defender. I would highly recommend anyone to max him out. Now, would I recommend summoning for any of them? Yes, I would recommend Rayleigh. If you're good at playing with Shanks or just good at perfect dodging in general, this unit is great and he does require perfect dodge mastery to use. He's a bit of a glass cannon, so I would recommend high character support. Sengoku is very tanky and it would suit you perfectly if you like defenders in general. He is a great support for the team but he also requires some patience and mastery when using his skills. I think these characters mark a new era in the Bounty Fest category. They are becoming more and more reliable against extreme units. I would highly recommend anyone to go for these characters, but I wouldn't recommend anybody to re-roll for these two units. If you like them, get them, and if you have the Rainbow Diamonds, then perfect. But if you want to save, I completely understand. If I was free to play, I would personally wait for an extreme unit. Alright guys, this is all I have for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.